Oh, that's actually pretty secure. That's fine. Those are pretty big. Plus, it's not like, yeah, this is the scenic base. So it's just, this is the one that's going up the shelf, and then this guy comes off, and then, cool. Okay. Plus the trees, if they don't have to be secured, then they can kind of pop in and out as needed. I'm going to eat a bite of mashed potatoes. Sorry, uh, mashed potatoes are like one of the only three things I can eat right now without a ton of pain. So, yo, it's Xenos. Oh, some Stellaris. When were you playing Stellaris and I missed it? Is that what you got going on right there? Dude. I love me some Stellaris. Yeah, Xenos is a variety streamer, plays a lot of shooters and stuff. He's been branching out and playing a bunch of other really cool RPGs and stuff, guys. Should Jack definitely check him out. Big old nerd. It's actually where I met Striken. Excuse me. Okay. Um, this is where I always struggle here. First step. Yeah, we're going to do the sculpt mold first. Um, we're going to mix up some of that. I'm going to start doing that as a base rather than just a straight texture paste. It's usually a lot more organic. Um, example given, Matt's birthday present, which we're going to finish after we finish this base. Or I will finish after stream tonight. Oh, it's No Man's Sky. Oh, okay, yeah. So, like, this is a much more organic base texture. And then we covered it in, like, a good forest base, which is good. But you can see here, like, the ground is a little bit more uneven and stuff. Um, so, as we evolve, we evolve. <laughs> Who would have thought? Um, I'm out of water. Give me one second, folks. I'm going to go get some water. I will be right back, and then we're going to sculpt and mold this up. And, uh, yeah. Oh, I'm so excited for this base. Okay, cool.